bombshell breaking news. The co-founders of Epic Virtual Charter Schools and their former CFO arrested and face a laundry list of charges. David Cheney, Ben Harris and Josh Brock all arrested this morning and as of right now, still in the Oklahoma County Jail. They're accused of the largest abuse of taxpayer funds in state history, all facing charges of racketeering, embezzlement of state funds, obtaining money under false pretense and conspiracy, among others. They are accused of stealing $22 million of taxpayer funds. But the state auditor says it could be much larger than that. News Force Nick Camper is live at the Capitol with the very latest. Nick. Epic Charter Schools was founded in 2011. It was just two years later when there was an investigation called by then Governor Mary Fallon. Then in 2019, another investigation was called, but that time by lawmakers. The result of that 2019 investigation ended with the arrest of the two co-founders and their longtime CFO. Harrison Cheney and Brock's actions is the largest abuse of taxpayer funds in the history of this state. Epic Charter School's founders, Ben Harris and David Cheney, along with the longtime chief financial officer, Josh Brock, were all arrested this morning. OSBI director Ricky Adams says that the three of them came up with a get-rich-quick scheme. State Auditor and Inspector Cindy Bird says millions was taken from the Student Learning Fund, which is paid for with state money. Now, this is not Harris and Cheney's earned income for fees or services. The Student Learning Fund is public money. The men are facing felony charges, including racketeering, embezzlement of state funds, obtaining money by false pretense, conspiracy to commit a felony, violation of the Oklahoma Computers Crimes Act, submitting false documents to the state, and unlawful proceeds. State agents say through Epic Charter Schools, Epic Youth Services, and the Student Learning Fund, a complicated criminal enterprise form that costed the state $22 million. Highlighted throughout the entire press conference is that Oklahomans were the ones who lost out on this fraud. It was 100% taxpayer funded. Absolutely no part of this school was private. District Attorney David Prater now moves this case on to the next phase. His office formally filed charges this afternoon. Live at the Capitol, Nick Camper, Oklahoma's News 4.